Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and today I'm making over these two side tables. I got these two side tables off of Facebook Marketplace for only $20. They are in pretty good condition. The only issue is they do have an odor. They have a smell. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get rid of those smells, and I'm gonna be using a new paint. It's new to me, and it's actually a new paint line. So we're gonna be using Lily Moon paint, and I'm super excited about it. But before we do that, I do want to talk about um, my channel a little bit. I am no longer gonna be uploading my videos on Wednesdays at 2.30. That's my usual day. Last weekend, I ended up uploading one on the weekend, and I learned that that was a great idea <laughs> because I can work five days during the week and then have my weekends with my family. So trying to maintain that work-life balance, the weekend worked better. So turn on your notifications. Um, you know, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications because then you'll be notified when I upload. I'll either be uploading Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, depending on when the video is finished. So, okay, enough chatting. Let's, let's flip it. <laughs> first step is to clean my piece so I'm using Dixie Belle's white lightning cleaner and I just dissolve some of the powder in some warm water and then clean my piece thoroughly and when I'm done cleaning my piece I rinse it with some water just to make sure that there's no cleaner residue left on the piece now I'm gonna address the issue with the odors no matter how much I clean this piece it is still going to stink, so that's when um, Zinzer's shellac comes in handy. I have to cover every single inch of these end tables. I'm talking even the bottom of the feet. If you do that with your shellac, you could even do two coats. You'll lock the odors in and eliminate the stink. So here I have clean strip, I have my mask, and I have my gloves. Because I don't have a soft padded sander, I have a really hard time um, sanding these edges. So if I just do one coat of stripper first, I'm going to have a much easier time when I have to remove the finish off of the sides. So I'm using clean strip today because I have it. Usually I don't use it because the scent is so strong for me and it does give me a migraine, but you don't have to cover it and I'm feeling a little lazy. <laughs> so instead of covering it with plastic wrap, you just leave it for 15 minutes and then you can come back and strip it. But the sun was drying it really quickly. So I only kept it on for about five minutes. And I did a quick wash with some steel wool and mineral spirits just to make sure that all the stripper residue was removed from the piece. And then I started sanding my tabletop. Now for these edges, I sanded them as much as I could, but there was still a lot that I couldn't get off. So I have seen this carbide scraper used in a few other channels like um, Transcend Furniture Gallery, Mad City Modern, and Reconstructing Emily. Using this tool, they remove a lot of finishes off of pieces. So I thought this would be a really great idea to help me get in these hard to reach spots. But I'll say it definitely, I had a learning curve with this. It took me a little while to get used to. Um, this one is a stainless steel scraper and I just, it's gonna help me get the details right there. But this, I already did one of the tables and I practiced on it. I had a hard time, I'll be honest. I didn't even know if I had the blade on this thing right. So I did reach out to um, Barry at Mad City Modern and he kind of gave me some really great tips. So be sure to go check his channel out because he uses this a lot and he gives a pretty thorough tutorial on these tools. Now I'm just sanding my surface nice and smooth there, making sure everything is off and even using my 120 grit sanding block. Using Lily Moon paint in the color Dried Pampas and I did use Google pronunciation to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly. This color is just gorgeous and I was really happy with the way that it went on. It went on really smooth. Here's what it looks like after one coat. I got pretty good coverage. And then this is my second coat goes on like butter. It goes on so smooth over the first coat. I really like this paint. I did not use my water mister and I'm so used to using my water mister 
but I didn't need to, so I didn't use it. This paint seems to be, um, it feels, it, the texture is a little bit thinner, which I really like, so it just went on so nice and smooth. For the two tables, I used about half of the container, and that was two coats on each of the tables, and then I always do like a little spot check on my third coat. Okay, so I'm at the point right now where I have to decide what I want to do with this top, and so far my plans are not panning out. I was going to stain the top, that was the original plan, and um, but I wasn't sure which color I wanted to choose, so I thought, well, I'll just do the bottom first, and then once I see the bottom on, which I have to do one more coat, but once I see what the bottom looks like, then I can do the top. Well, I see the bottom, and my gut is telling me, do not stain this. I really want to put like a wash of Mountain Mist. It's her paint, I have this paint, and I just feel like this would pair so, so nicely. Now the issue is this is an oak table, so there's gonna be tannins and bleed through that wanna peek out through this. So if I do just a paint wash, and especially adding a little bit of water to that paint will activate those tannins. So I have to seal it first. I could use Dixie Belle's Boss in a clear sealer. I mean, that that's exactly what I'm going to do, but my issue now is that it's going to be a little bit more slick. So my paint is, um, the, the wood grain that I would like to show through might not show through as much. So we'll see what happens. Let's just give it a try and see how it goes. <laughs> I just opened a new container of my boss and as you can see, it really, nearly, really needs to be stirred. It's been sitting there for a while. So just make sure that when you open your boss, you give it a great stir to make sure all the pigments on the bottom are mixed. I gave these tables a total of two coats of the boss, waiting for it to dry in between coats. When I sanded these tables, I only went up to 150 grit. And that's because when you're sanding oak, if you sand it too much, it'll really polish it and then it won't take stain. So it actually worked out for me really well because it was pretty porous, the surface. So it sucked up all of that boss and did not leave me with the shiny surface that I was worried about. So it all worked out. I've got my wash all together. That's just some water with some mountain mist, and then I'm misting the table all over. I want everything to be, um, you know, I don't want it to be dry because I don't want my paint to dry fully. I just want a nice watered down mixture. Uh, I sort of take my time with it, apply it to the whole table, and then I wipe it off. After applying my first coat of wash and wiping it back, I waited for it to fully dry and then I applied one more coat. So two coats all together. For the hardware, I'm using this Rust-Oleum's Metallic in rose gold. It doesn't look like a rose gold so much, it kind of looks a little coppery, but it's a nice soft color. And then to seal it, I'm just using Minwax Clear Lacquer. It's time to seal the entire piece and I'm using Dixie Belle's Clear Coat in Satin. It's my favorite, it's my go-to. I just think it leaves such a beautiful finish on all the pieces. Sometimes when I'm looking at my piece without it, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? It doesn't look right. And then I put the sealer on and it just ties it all together. I added two coats of the sealer waiting for it to dry in between coats.
Here's a reminder of what they look like before. And here's what they look like today. I called these romantic side tables because I felt like they came out so soft and pretty rather than like traditional side tables. I can see these side tables being sold to maybe a young lady. It's her first apartment and she wants something unique and fun and soft and beautiful. I really enjoyed working with the Lily Moon paint and I loved the dried pampas color. I think it's my favorite and I need to do it on a dresser soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you next week.